All right, everybody. Uh, this is Amin Mojara, and I'm making this YouTube video because um, I'm really starting to get more into the advanced JavaScript development, um, Node.js, um, Angular. Um, but I want to go back to some basic stuff like jQuery plugins, um, specifically, or, or just JavaScript plugins, and specifically dealing with uh, social media. So right here. I have a plugin called InstaFeed.js, which allows you to display your Instagram feed on a website. And so basically, uh, this plugin basically requires you to get a, uh, a AP, I mean, a, a client ID um, and have your user ID for um, Instagram. Well, um, Instagram changed its uh, changed its API back in November, so a lot of people might have a hard time, um, you know, implementing this. Um, uh, I personally had bought this theme from ThemeForce, where this uh, designer had uh, implemented the feed on their site. However, um, it's not as simple as just getting a client ID and the user token to to um, or the user ID and the in the client ID and they implement it doesn't work like that so I want to take you through what you need to do so first and foremost make sure you register your clients um, you go to um, developer I mean uh, instagram.com slash developer uh, click on manage clients up here register a new client um, let me show you what you need to do um, make sure that you uh, fill out everything and initially, when you register a client, they're going to have what's called a redirect URL. Um, what you want to do is make sure that you put the instafeedjs.com uh, on the on the on in the in the valid redirect URL, or else it doesn't work. And make sure you uncheck disable implicit OAuth. Those those two things must happen in order to use this plugin or any plugin. That wants to use the wants to use the Instagram API. Um, once you do that, um, go ahead and save the client, and then it will generate a client ID. So this is what you need. You need this client ID right here. And what you need to do then is you have to take this URL and I and I'm gonna post this on the YouTube page. Go ahead and take this URL right here, copy it. And then open up another tab in your browser, paste it, and then what you want to do is go back to your Instagram page, copy your client ID, and then where it says client ID, including the uh, the brackets, um, highlight that and replace those brackets with the actual client ID. Once you do that hit enter or return and boom it takes you and it authorizes that app so as you can see you get that and this access token is what you need to put in your JavaScript so copy that access token and if you don't have your user if you're logged in make sure you get the user ID then then you basically can follow the instructions on here so come back to the app put your user ID right there and then put that access token right there you know, make sure you call the new Insta feed um, object. You know, go go through everything, do the templating and all that other stuff. But you know, we we just want to make sure that um, that everything is doing, and then make sure you have the Insta Insta feed dot run um, to go. But that's basically how you get this get this to run, and you know, you know, put the markup wherever you need to put it in your template. But I just wanted to show you how to get um, to get that going um, because, man, it's this been a lot of uh, I, I've read a lot of posts and all that stuff on the Internet. And because it's this change, I just decided to make this video to help out the community. And that's basically it. Oh, oh, if you don't know your Instagram ID, um, this good site right here called uh, jail.com slash Instagram can help you out. I'll paste this on the um, uh, YouTube play page, too. You can have a lookup tool for your user ID. Just type in your user your username, 
So I'll just put in Mojo Raw Y2K and hit go. And then it gives you the user ID right here. And that link that I showed you to create the um, the access token, uh, here it is right here. So the, it gives you, walks you through everything. And it actually gives you this right here to put in for the, for the access token. So uh, there's no secret here, you know, um, but it's, it's definitely a, a, a good thing to, to know about. Uh, this instant Instagram gallery tutorial, um, I, they took it down because they changed the a API. So um, that link doesn't work anymore. Alrighty, um, when I have more stuff to share with you, I will.